In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a model of an aquifer to show students. When I would teach aquifers to students, they would really struggle to grasp what they looked like and how they worked. Um, when I started teaching, I remember one year I told students, it's kind of like an underground swimming pool, which confused them more because swimming pools are these big, hollow, empty spaces, which is not what an aquifer is. So over time, I kept thinking, how could I teach this better? And I thought I need to build a model to show students. So in order to do this, you just need a plastic container of some sort, sediments of different sizes. I have some gravel and some sand, some water, the pump off of a hand soap, any size works and then a little piece of nylon. All right, so to start, we're going to take our container and we're gonna fill it with different size sediments. So if you've already talked about sedimentation and deposition with students, they should know that the heavier sediments, the bigger ones, go towards the bottom. So I'm gonna start off with the gravel and I'm going to put that towards the bottom. And then I'm going to put my sand on top of that. All right, if you have any um, grass trimmings or plants that you wanna put on the top on one side, you can do that as well. So next, um, we talk to students about what happens when it rains and we have this infiltration of water down into the ground. So you're gonna take your water and you're going to add it and pour it down into your container. And you can talk to students about how, um, where the level of the water table is. And so if water is above the water table, then we're going to see a lake or a stream form. And then if it's below the water table, then we have this zone of saturation. Um, as we can see, this, the sand is slowly getting full of water. Okay, so what is the pump for? So this is going to represent a well. So how do we get water out of the ground? So um, before you just stick it right into the sand, a lot of times the sand goes into the pump and clogs it. So uh, if you take a piece of nylon, I cut up some old pantyhose because honestly, who wears pantyhose anymore? I haven't worn them in years. And just take a rubber band and tie off the bottom. Okay, that way when you stick it down into the sand, it shouldn't clog. Okay, so tell students this represents a well. So when we dig a well, we have to go down into the water table where the zone of saturation is and you can pump it and show students how it works. Okay, so you can see as you pump it, water comes out of the well. So once I showed students this and we could label the different parts, you could even take um, little pieces of paper and stick them on. So um, the water table, you could label the side, the zone of saturation, an aquifer, a well. Um, I saw a lot of light bulbs go off and it really helped them. So hopefully you can try it with your students. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to check out my channel. I have a lot more demo lab ideas for you.